welcome back to the spider's web and uh, we will be carrying on with the um, oops, more mature a little bit we want to be carrying on with the witches as you can see they're all nicely dried the washers improve the colour quite a bit we've put on so let's get back to it then shall we so we want to start off with the rack earth flesh that we used for the flesh tones and we'll bang some of this on our palette like so and then we'll wash our brush out and we'll get the brush that we're going to be using which will be our um, where is it? Our size zero rosemary co brush. We're going to be just giving this a rinse because I've had the master's um, brush cleaner on it. some paint on our brush and we'll go over I'm going a second just get the that's better get the camera in a stable position and we'll just go over certain areas of the mini that we think is going to be um, exposed to light there we go Trying to get the light in a a good position. There we go. And we're going over with that. Again, keeping the paint quite diluted. any down there but we will need some of her legs like so And we'll go add a little bit down here on the back of this leg and on the calf here. And that should be about all we'll need. I would imagine, because as I said, I'm not going overboard with these because the sculpts aren't terribly detailed anyway but 
but I may yet decide to give these another wash a little later. Anything's possible. And now <coughs> we've done that bit. Now <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get back into the screamer pink. We'll choose that colour. Probably can see that. There we go. And as you know, this is the colour we used for the clothing, whatever what little clothing there is. I'll brush a little bit of a rinse out and then we can get started. Like so. And as you can understand as you can imagine we are going to be going again everywhere where we think the light is going to hit any raised areas like so I'm just trying to keep an eye on where the camera is pointing as I attempt to put the paint on there we go we're almost done well almost done this shawl thing that she's wearing and we'll just run a little bit down here as well there we go and now on to This thing she's wrapped around her waist. And you can go as deep as far as you want with highlighting. This is going to be the, the only highlight I'm going to be adding to this because I said it's, it's not it's not a model that I'm going to be exp um, exploding. <laughs> it's not a, a model that I'd ever like display. So it's not. In need of a top notch paint job. As long as it looks OK for the tabletop. I said it before with the other mi my minis for this. It is slightly disappointing how the quality is on these, but uh, well, you can't have everything. There we go, and that's basically it for the highlighting on her clothing. There's not much more to add. And all there is next to do is using the um I'm not gonna use the um Renoxide for this next step. I'm gonna use something a little later 
which is going to be um, when I can put my hands on it. Ballor Brown. I decided I'm going to use this one to dry brush the hair. It might be a mistake, I know, but oh well. Here we go. And that is her hair done. It's her skin done. And it's her clothing done. That is the witch. Nothing remarkable about the paint job, nothing really remarkable about the miniature, but it looks better painted than it did unpainted. As for the bases for the zombies, let's have a quick look at those, shall we? Now that they've dried, I'm not going to show you all of them, I'm just going to bring one down, and that is what we're left with. Okay, so what we're going to do for these is quite simple. Um, I mean, there is another option we could have used, but I don't want to go down that route, um, which is the um, technical paint that cracks. Um, I don't want to use that because obviously you need a lot of it on, and you know it's just a little too much. But what I am going to do is using Steel Legion Drab, which is a base coat. Straight out of the pot, I'm not fuffing about with this. And we'll just paint it on everywhere. Man, you I'm not every not quite everywhere. We'll paint it all over the earth paste that we put on it. Now that it's all dry, we'll go over each model exactly the same way. I'm showing you now how to do one of them, then you'll know. Um, when you see them all eventually um, that's how it was done so here we go I'll, uh, I'll speed this up so it's not boring you Right, we're coming very close now to the end of this. Um, I just want to point out any that goes on the edge would be better if it can wipe off. If not, then you can always paint over with black later on. You're going to get some that's going to end up on the. It's no matter how careful you are, you usually find you always get some over the edge. But as I said, don't worry about it. There's always ways and means of getting around that. Once that dries, we're going to be going over with a dry brush of um, Screaming Skull. And that is it. That's all we're doing for that. So, when you come back, you're going to see all of these bases done. You're going to see um, 
these bases done and both which is um, finished but that is as far as we're going with the witches as you can see the colour screamer pink is not as bright as it initially was that's mainly because of the green wash we put over it and it does help this quite tremendously so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it join us next time when we paint well something else until then take care god bless and bye for now